As sustainability becomes more central to an organization strategy, what is the role of boards and, and how is the role different from uh, executive management team? So one of the most important things about sustainability in the Middle East, it really is derived from the government's commitment to sustainability. So when the government starts to set standards, criteria, then the industries follow. If the government doesn't or does not follow up on it, the industries will find ways not to be as uh, fully sustainable uh, as they should be. So there's two ways of sustainability, right? Sustainability of the business and making sure that you continue being profitable, which everybody is working on, but then sustainability from the idea of the environment of, you know, people, planet and, and bottom line. Um, and so I think it, it really does depend on the government's commitment um, to sustainability. The other thing is in a perfect world, the executive leadership and the board would have some tension right? Because you want them to always try to um, do better. And so what I feel is that a lot of times there's not enough pushback from either side to the other, um, except in very well run uh, uh, companies, whether they are semi uh, uh, public or private public or uh, family run, but that's not the majority. Um, in the NGO world, we actually have uh, less diversity. There's not a lot of recruitment for people who are outside and would have totally fresh eyes. Or it would be from donors who would become on the board. And so there's sometimes conflict because it's their money that's being spent. And so in the NGO world, we're, we're seeing um, uh, that issue manifest a lot more. And we have some excellent NGOs, uh, very well run, great boards, but the majority um, are not. And um, uh, as far as I know, this is where the Ministry of Development in Saudi Arabia um, and also ministries that deal with charities are starting to notice that they have to have more inclusive, more um, uh, diverse uh, board members so that they ensure the sustainability of the NGOs because a lot of them do close down. And we saw this during COVID. Um, several studies showed that almost 30% of uh, small NGOs have to close down because they were not able to uh, sustain their work and their fundraising during those difficult times. Mm -hmm.